My name is Shani Reid and I am an Aboriginal Heritage Officer in Lutrawira, Tasmania. My childhood was kind of fragmented. For instance, I went to six different primary schools. I lived in all regions across the island and I basically lived within the family network, not within what's considered a family, mum and dad and brothers and sisters, but I lived with my aunts and my uncles and my grandparents. My career as an Aboriginal Heritage Officer wasn't, wasn't one that was, was planned. I kind of just fell into that position um, by default of my administration background and currently work for the Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre in the role of facilitator for the Strong in Country project. The Strong in Country project, or Rala Milotena II, aims to give Aboriginal people opportunities to be on country um, because Aboriginal people recognise that when we're on country we are emotionally, spiritually and physically stronger. It's a connection to our ancestors. Um, they walked this island forever and, and we still do today. But we don't always have the opportunity or the ability to be out on country. We put together um, trips and we take community groups out on these trips. We make sure they got the right equipment and I guide a lot of the time it's myself that guides the trips and during our time on country we share a lot of cultural knowledge. One of the most important elements of my career is that most of my knowledge came from other community members. Bedlam Walls is, is quite a significant location, one because it's so central and it's within the urban landscape, but it's a place you can go to and really read the cultural content and how our ancestors used country. The river's nice and narrow, so this is where our old people would all cross. The women would swim across and the men in their bark canoes. It's a connection site, so it tells us about how other areas that surround it were used, um, how Timtumali Mianya, the Derwent River, was used. Um, it's a connection between um, the Mumarinara people of the Oyster Bay tribe and um, the people from the South East tribe. That's a crossing point. Drawing for me is a sense of relaxation and release. Um, when I draw, it's like forgetting about everything else and um, being able to just create. It's definitely one of those kind of activities in life that, that helps ground me. The artwork really is a way of telling cultural kind of stories and, and having a physical kind of um, way of sharing it. Aboriginal people should be involved in the management of this island. And on a real level in today's contemporary society, the people that have control over what happens is the parliament. We acknowledge and pay respect to the Tasmanian Aboriginal people as the traditional and original owners and continuing custodians of this land on which we gather today. There should be representation within that. The best thing about being Aboriginal is the community and having that sense of um, recognition within your community, knowing who you are and who they are. Um, and passing on knowledge and throughout a network where everyone is a collective. That sense of family is really important. <laughs> Knowing that my daughters have that extended family as well, it's almost like always having that backup. And having a clear understanding of who you are, um, your self-identity, which is derived directly from cultural identity and being connected to this island.